How's everybody doing? It's Jack and welcome back to the Mindful Homestead. First off, I just wanna say hello and thank you to all of our recent subscribers. We recently just passed 3,000, which is pretty cool. When we started this channel, it was just gonna be for friends and family to kind of show them what we're doing here on the farm. And it's grown tremendously over the last year and a half and we're pretty excited about it. We think it's really cool to be able to share what we're doing here with the rest of the world and kind of show everybody that they can do it too. If you're not already a subscriber, go down below, click that subscribe button and then hit the bell button next to it. It'll give you a notification whenever we come up with a new video. Today, you can see I'm in our old pig pasture. This is where we ran our pigs last year. This was their wooded enclosure. What I'm doing today is I'm pulling out, bugs are bad. What I'm doing today is I'm pulling all the T posts and white plastic posts that we used to hold the poly wire that we used last year to contain the pigs. When we run our pigs in the woods like this, we just use two strands of poly wire. It's super simple. I'll put a video link up in the corner, that corner over there, showing what we did last year and how we set it up. The idea is though, once you train your pigs to an electric fence inside of hog panels, they know that they shouldn't touch electric fence and your perimeter fence for their paddock can be a lot mellow where it can be two strands of electric wire, three strands of electric wire. You don't need to have a hard panel going all the way around. So I'm pulling down T-posts and plastic posts. I'm gonna use them to set up the new paddock, which we're gonna hopefully get set up today. We've gotten so much rain in the last couple of days that we really need to get them out of where they are now. It's, it's muddy, it's gross. And in the short term, it's not necessarily a bad thing. The pigs love it. They wallow around in the mud and use it to protect themselves from the sun. But long term, you don't wanna have them in a really wet enclosure because that's when you start getting parasite issues and things like that. So I'm going to pull down all these posts. I'm going to bring them over to where the new paddock's gonna be and we'll start getting stuff set up over there. It's probably a little hard to tell on video, but these are all tomato and squash plants growing in here now. Behind me, all over there is where they're gonna be. We're gonna be letting them out into here today. This is all blueberries and ferns. They love it, they're gonna eat it like crazy. So first I'm gonna start hammering T-posts. We'll put the T-posts in, in corners and any place where we need extra kind of reinforcement. We'll string the wire between the T-posts and then I'll come back and I'll add the plastic posts where we need just a little bit of support to kind of keep things up off the ground or bring them into the ground or do it that way, so. I'll go get the T-post driver. Do you know where that is? I think the T-post driver is over by the pig pen. I'm gonna go get that and we'll start doing it. Thank you. 
All right, now that we got the T posts up and the line up, we're gonna come through with these stepping posts. They'll kind of manage the, the line a little bit and work it in and out of tricky areas. these white steaks when we're doing this for a couple of reasons one they're cheap I think they're like a dollar fifty each second reason is we use them in the coop when we set up the wire for the original training on the electric fence just as much as they learn to see the rope and the, the electric filament itself I feel that they see these white posts and they know not to go past it it's kind of like if you're out in the woods and you see a post with three purple blazes on it that's kind of the universal sign that you're not supposed to cross it's uh it's post it's private property it's posted and they don't want you on it so i feel for the pigs like using a lot of these if they don't see the wire itself they may see the post it sticks out a little bit more and it helps to keep them in a little bit more of a psychological barrier So I've got everything wired up. Pretty much the last thing to do is connect it and let the pigs out and see what happens. taking that out. Yeah, I'm just going to slide it over here. This is how you know your pigs are trained well to electric. I pulled down the hog panel here, pulled down the electric, and there's some rotten bananas out here. Not rotten, but just like old and really soft. And they smell them, but they're not even they're not even interested in coming out right now because they think 
And the electric fence is still there even though there's nothing there. So we'll leave them here just a little bit and we'll see uh, if they venture out. Kind of let them figure it out on their own. It's a couple hours later and the pigs are out and about in the pasture, which is looking awesome in the evening light. So they're out now. I would like to see them get shocked, not because I want them to get shocked, but because I want them to learn that the fence is there and kind of reinforce it. I'll keep an eye on them over the next couple hours. We'll be outside hanging out, eating dinner. And this is what they've got in here. This is all low bush blueberry all of this under those ferns is blueberry and we're letting them out just as those blueberries are ripening up but this is one of the moments that makes it all worthwhile for me the work that we put in these are pigs that we're never going to get to enjoy something like this the whole covid thing was really kind of a wake-up call for the pork processing industry and these pigs were feeders that were just going to be sent to be euthanized they're running around behind me they're so happy to be out here This sort of thing is why we do what we do. You know, it's not just about getting better product, but it's about raising happier, healthier animals in the long run. So while it might just seem like we came out today and set up an electric fence, today is one of those milestones in homesteading where every year, you know, it's a day I look forward to just because I'm so excited to get these guys out on pasture for the first time and really let them experience something way different than any other or most other pigs would get to experience. What do you think? They have no interest in me right now. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And if you are a subscriber, thanks a ton. As always, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll get back to them as quickly as we can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.